Hey guys, I am so excited. Actually, I was not excited to tackle Tessa's closet. Look at the before. It's a bit of a hot mess. Uh, there was like four years of Presley's stuff. More down here. A corner of pretend clothes, like so many shoes that didn't fit, a mess of hair things. Okay, well she just had a play date where this happened. I don't even know. But the after is going to be fantastic. And before we start, one question. Should I involve Tess? They're too small. What if I shrink a little bit? <laughs> no, this was gonna be a solo job. Here we go. So step one, clear everything out so you end up with this. Oh no. Good news is the easiest step. The bad news, there is no going back. Number two, get rid of stuff. Sorry, Tess. I started with the shoes and it's nice to Velcro, tie, or like clip them together. These folks work hard to sort them. For shoes that are just long gone, you can actually recycle them at a lot of stores like Nike. I ended up taking mine to DSW. Some cute shoes in there. In terms of clothes, the golden rule is, would you give it to a friend? If no, toss it. And I just learned that that crackling sound on elastic, oh, that is the sound of rubber that is disintegrated over time. And unfortunately, those gotta go. I am also keeping a bin in the garage for stuff I just can't part with and a pile of t-shirts I wanna one day make into a memory quilt. That's another episode. <laughs> Okay, moving on to hand-me-downs, if applicable. Sure wasn't our case. Uh, this was the toughest because the girls have such different styles. Presley was always into dresses. Tess is more of a t-shirt shorts girl. But what if someone shrinks? Um, I ended up donating about half, which I'm very proud of, and the remaining went into four bins by year. And by the way, yes, I am using a label machine. I know it looks overkill, but honestly, it is easier and quicker for me than handwriting. I hate my handwriting. <laughs> Number four, the drawers. You gotta take everything out, and then if you don't have dividers, this is key. This drawer alone, look how satisfying this is to put it back in neatly. For the remaining drawers, I went a little nuts. I used the book trick on the t-shirts, folded the leggings in half, and then in thirds, so they stood up. The pajamas were rolled, and look, and how amazing these drawers are. That is pure organizing, YouTube organizing. And don't you say they're not gonna last, they are. Next, uniform hanging. Oh, we got some mismatched hangers, banish them. And I don't know how the three kids hangers get mixed up, but they did, we took care of it. And then for skirts and pants, if you can't find the hangers, um, it's actually maybe even cheaper, you can get a pack of the clips so that those are uniform too. Speaking of uniforms, next, bin it up. I upgraded to these super cute ones, but before putting them in, I actually rearranged the shelves. By the way, we have the Alpha system from Container Store, and I'm obsessed because you can like add a drawer, or change things around as your kid grows, which I love. I use the lower shelves for grab and go stuff like her dance outfits and sports uniforms. And then I also have a holiday bin because I was always looking for like the Easter bunny shirt and could never find it. So it's all there. On the upper shelves, I have extra hangers, winter stuff, and then a bin for donation. Whoops. And this and that so that we can keep the counter clear. Speaking of accessible accessories, I just got more of these clear holders. I love them. Let's just put them on. I doubled it up, which I think looks nice. Boom. Whoops. I forgot one. I did the same for her jewelry, a little tray for her glasses. I really like the clear acrylic, how that looks. And then behind the door, we have her hats and purses. Next, the pretend it's not there, dress up clothes. I do not think they look good hung up. They look kind of junky in a closet, anyway. So I found this sturdy box that doubles as a chair she can actually use. And really, I just shoved them in there because it's gonna end up that way. And last, real quick, up at the top, we had these dolls that were just like thrown in. And I found that a boot storage container is like perfect for dolls. Look how nice that looks. And then we did a separate one for all their accessories. So here is the before and the after. Look at that hot mess and how nice and functional it is now. I mean, just the shoes alone look so much better and it's no longer a storage room just for Presley's stuff. Uh, but let's be honest, I did this for me, but let's just see what Tess thinks of it. Ready, Tess? Okay. She was definitely really excited. She dove into that corner, which I don't think she's ever seen before, and then tried giving me a tour. All my shirts? 
jackets, dresses. And I'm like, yep, I'm very familiar with what's in here. Um, Presley was super impressed. Can you do my closet next? Yes. Ford was intrigued by the bins. Ford, do you want me to organize yours next? No. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Leave your suggestions below. I'll see you soon, bye.